We are on the eve of a technological revolution. Putting these machines on the streets will save countless lives. Time to wake him up. This is the future. It's not the weapons that count. It's who's handling them. Or, in your case, what? The premise of Robocop embodies all the questions that have to do with machines taking over. Please exit your home. In reality, we're very close to many of the things in the movie right now. It's not some crazy futuristic vision. We do have like aerial drones that are in the Turan sequence you know, like what we've got today. The way the drone pilots operate these machines is akin to a video game. They have a joystick. It's essentially robotics, you know, and you know, you're, you're disconnected from what you do. Americans don't want a machine. They want a product with a conscience. Okay. We're gonna put a man inside a machine. Our movie's very much about what happens when you become a robot. The scientific process, the emotional process, we're really trying to use what the military are actually uh, developing and, and medical facilities. The technology of Robocop is already there. We have vision implants, so we can actually give some very basic vision back to people who have been blind. With their implants, the patients are able to make out dark from light objects. There's been amazing breakthroughs over the past year that have allowed us to successfully link our minds to robotic prosthetics. The most recent example was they literally were able to implant a chip in the brain so this guy can actually think and connect with a computer that allowed him to control a robotic arm. Composite systems made of organic systems, but also made of artificial systems. That's what Robocop is. It's half a robot, half a man. What kind of suit is this? It's not a suit, Alex. It, it's you. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> <laughs>